Hey everybody, it's Reed Comics 81 and I've got another haul video for you all. Uh, before we get started, this channel is for adults, so if you're not 18, please turn it off. Alright, so got these new glasses. I think they look pretty good. They're progressives. Um, getting older, my body's not what it used to be. Uh, feeling it every day. I'll be 50 years old uh, in May, and it's unbelievable. I can't believe how fast the time goes by. But one thing that does keep me young is comic books. And um, this is my first haul of the year, but I have been busy. I've been switching my books that are in top loaders over into Mylar. And I think they look great. So I'm going to start off by showing a few of these. So here we've got Journey into Mystery 114. First appearance of Absorbing Man. Look at that. That is just a beautiful copy of this book. Love it. Here's another one. Strange Tales 123. Sorry about the glare, guys. I'm sitting right in front of the window, but it's the only way I can get decent lighting in this room. First appearance of the Beetle. Beautiful copy of that book. Let's do a modern one. Batman 423. Classic Todd McFarlane cover, first printing. Yeah. Nice books. Um, yeah, the top loaders obviously provide more protection for the books, but, you know, then you still got the problem with the uh, poly bags wrinkling after just a few months. So I figured it was a good idea to just go ahead and stick these in the mylar and be done with it. Okay, so... Um, let's see, before I get to the comics, I want to show this. This is Invisible Men, the Trailblazing Black Artists of Comic Books. Picked this up from Barnes & Noble. <clears throat> Had a gift card. Uh, it retails for $35. And this is just a really cool, comprehensive book of the uh, African-American Golden Age artists that a lot of people probably do not know much about, including myself, so... I'm one chapter into this so far and already really enjoying it. So, yeah, good book. All right, let's get to the comic books. So, went to a collectible store and found some decent things. Found this uh, Wonder Woman 206 for 50 cents, which you would think would be an excellent deal. But then you look at the back cover and, yeah... Got that nice big chunk torn out of there. But still for 50 cents, I think that's not a bad deal on that book. Okay, I also found a nice stack of Silver Age Marvel Westerns for $2 each. Drawhide Kid, number 41. And these are in really nice condition, too, for their age. Which is really the reason why I bought them. If they were lower grade, I probably would not have grabbed them even at $2 a piece. Um, Rawhide Kid 48, this one is in immaculate condition. What's that? Let's see, Raw, no, not Rawhide Kid. Kid Colt Outlaw 118, this is one of the lower grade copies. It's got some uh, creasing across the top there. But for $2, figured that was a, a nice pickup. We've got Kid Cole Outlaw 124. Nice book. I'm going to see if I can adjust these blinds here to get rid of some of this glare. Let's see if that works. Kid Cole Outlaw 128. No, not really. Oh well. Let's see. Kid Cole Outlaw 131. This is one of the uh, thicker issues here. Really nice condition. I wish he'd have had some old superhero books like this. And lastly, you could call Outlaw 132. Another really nice condition book there for $2. All right. What else do we have here? Then I went to 
Time Travelers. It's a collectible shop about an hour away. Found some decent things. Giant Size Conan number three. Cool Gil Kane cover. I think I paid five dollars for that. Just needed it for my run. Another run filler here. FF Annual number 12. Paid five dollars for that. Pretty good condition. So why not? So I'm happy to find this. This is no big deal, but it's a book I've been looking for for quite a while, and that's Ravage 2099, number one, in a newsstand, near mint copy. Paid $1.50 for that. Also picked up Marvel Team Up, number nine, Spider-Man and Iron Man. And I want to say I paid 5 or $6 for this. Just another book I needed for the run. Okay. This was cool. This was in his 60 cent boxes. This is Captain America 217. This is the first appearance of Marvel Man who later becomes Quasar. So it's a key issue. Uh, it's a mid to low mid grade copy, which, you know, this alone would be worth 60 cents easily. But um, these books did not have bags and boards. And it was kind of flopped open a little bit. And I noticed that it also had a pizzazz insert inside. So I definitely grabbed this for 60 cents. Uh, I did a little bit of research, or tried to do a little bit of research on these pizzazz inserts. There's not a whole lot of information out there on these. Um, I don't think they put these inserts in very many copies of very many titles. So they're pretty hard to find. Uh, not worth a lot. I mean, there are a couple of copies of this particular book on eBay right now listed, ones that listed at 30 by it now and the other one is listed at 60 I think but you know that's just assuming somebody's willing to pay that price for it but um they definitely go for more than copies that don't have the pizzazz insert in them so just a cool find for 60 cents um another low grade issue thought this was cool even though it's coverless found ff annual number six first annihilus first uh franklin richards also in the 60 cent bin. So figured that was worth picking up. All right, let's move along to some LCS purchases. I don't spend a lot of money at LCSs because books are usually priced pretty high and I don't have a lot of money to spend. But I did see this, Mighty Avengers 62. This is a book that I showed, I believe it was in my last haul video, and I had picked up a copy of this for $35. Well, a few days later, I found this at a different shop for $31, and it's in much better condition. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Not sure what I'll do with the other copy. I might put it in a contest. Uh, or just um, A-OK -okay it to somebody. We'll see. But yeah, first appearance of Man-Ape, who is uh, being speculated on to be the next Black Panther in the MCU, but we'll see. I take that stuff with a grain of salt because anything can happen. You never know from one day to the next. Things are always changing. Also picked this up <coughs> for... Uh, what did I pay for this? Like, I want to say 5 or $6.00. Might have been seven or eight dollars, I'm not sure, but I know it was under ten. Uh, this is Daredevil number twenty-two. Uh, I don't think this is a key issue or anything, but it's in really nice condition, and I'm working on my Daredevil run, so why not? The shop had a bunch of cheap uh, Daredevil back issues. I think I'm gonna go back and pick up a few more as soon as I get the money to do so. Let's see. Um, now it's time for some eBay books. I only have a couple more books to show. Got this for a really good price. I think I paid $15 for this after shipping. So $15 total. Daredevil number 19. Really nice condition. 
Um, again, it's not a key issue. There's nothing really special about it other than, you know, it's a Silver Age early Daredevil book at a really good price. So definitely grab these whenever I can find them. And the last book I'm going to show this time around, guys, I got a few more books coming in the mail, but I just got tired of them, of waiting for them to show up. So I just went ahead and decided to make this video today. But one book that did show up in the mail from eBay was Journey into Mystery 118, first appearance of the Destroyer, who is a Herald of Galactus. And uh, I'm trying to put together a set of all the Galactus Heralds. I only need a few more. And um, this was one that was high up on my list. Really nice condition. Let's see if you can see this in the video. Very little wrong with it. And I paid $50 total for this book, which I'm really happy with. All right, well, that does it for this time around, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.